is a quick tour slash overview of a 1998 Chevy Malibu LS. The car is largely in very good shape. Good tires. There are a few cosmetic imperfections. Kind of a little bit right here where the paint's kind of faded, clear coat's coming off rear bumper. Runs really good. For the most part, it's been taken care of really well. It's the GM 3100 or 3.1 liter V6. It's actually a pretty good little motor. They do have an issue with the intake manifold gasket. Um, essentially elongating or burning out and that can cause coolant to start burning and getting sucked into the engine. It's actually not that hard of a fix but the engine bay is pretty clean. It does seem to leak a little bit of oil I'm assuming out of the valve cover gaskets either I don't know if it's this one it looks like there's a little bit of drippage around here down there or it might be the back one here which is going to be really fun to replace. I was saying the car runs really smooth. Whoever owned this before took really good care of it. You can see that somebody tuned it up at one point. The plug, the plug wires still look pretty new. It might have been changed a year or two ago. The car has 129,000 miles on it. It does need a new serpentine belt. New battery. Yeah, it runs really smooth. Go ahead and shut the door. Got all power. Power windows, mirrors, locks. Full instrument cluster. Well, at least as far as they offered for these cars. I don't know why somebody tried to drill into this. Um, but obviously could use a new lens because of that. But 129,000 miles, as I was saying, really low miles. It's got a uh, newer JVC stereo in, that was put in it at one point. AC works good. Something uh, interesting about this, the dealership that I bought this from said that they got two of these control heads for the air conditioner from the local wrecking yards and couldn't get it to work and what they ended, had to end up doing was going to the Chevy dealership in town and buying one and this is actually a brand new control head. These cars weren't exactly famous for their build quality however the drivetrains are pretty good, the four-speed automatics in them are pretty good. Um, basically I look at this car as it's a beater car. Uh, if it lasts me a year or two and I get like 60,000 more miles out of it I think the purchase was worth it. But it might be that I get much more life out of it than I thought so, thought I would. It's missing the uh, driver's side sun visor. And this one's kind of all tatted up and ripped and stuff. The AC works really good, which is a huge plus for me. One thing that I thought was cool is that it's got two auxiliary power jacks there and there. And here's your ashtray. It's not very big. I also have a little cubby storage hole. And then I've seen bigger glove boxes. And this latch is kind of broken and it's seen better days. That'll be another thing that I could probably pick up off. From the wrecking yards but it's actually a pretty comfortable little car uh, i think it's rated for like 27 or 28 on the highway i forget what it was um, overall i'm pretty happy with it i just 
got it registered and insured. Pretty big trunk, that's a good plus. I don't know what that is. But it's got a spare in it, just a donut. No surprise there. Doesn't look like hardly anything was hauled in the back and the rear seats do fold down. Original speakers. Four speed automatic. Buzzer, buzzer sound is a little annoying, I'll admit that. Honestly, it's not a bad little car. It also has cruise control, which is another plus for me. Nice, loud horn. This thing's kind of broken and floppy. But for how much I paid for this car, I did expect a few cosmetic issues. Go ahead and turn it off. I like how the, uh, the ignition's right here on the dash, though. I do kind of like that. It also has a full tilt wheel and another vent down here. But there's your tilt. And I also have another cup holder. I didn't even realize that. There's plenty of cup holders in this car. There's also two back here. Comes with the dash mat. The uh, underside of the, or the top of the dash is actually in really good condition. Aside from right there. As far as the motor goes though, I am going to uh, do a little bit more research and looking into that leak. I need to figure out where exactly it's coming from, but I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the valve cover gaskets, either back here or up here or both. And then it wouldn't surprise me if it was already done, but I'm probably going, going to end up doing that intake manifold gasket anyway. But, uh, something that I found funny I'll probably end up having to replace this mount anyways because it's all cracked and kind of grungy looking. But in order to replace your serpentine belt, you have to disconnect this engine mount and of course have your, your motor supported with a jack and then take the mount off and then get yourself a 3 8 drive um, ratchet or wrench and pull up on the tensioner and then you take it off that way. It's kind of different, this sort of configuration, but it doesn't look like it's too difficult. It's also cool here is they also have engine hoist parts here. But overall, the car is in really good shape. I'm pretty happy with this purchase. I knew before I bought it that, I, that I'd have to put a little bit of work into it, but it's really not all that big of a deal. So look forward to a uh, review on this pretty soon.